Sacramento is an extremely creative town, and in, in many ways, I don't know if you remember uh, the uh, elks or the cows along Del Paso Boulevard, painted by uh, many artists in town, but the art world is thriving in this town, and the theater world is thriving in this town, and you should get out and see some of these things. And you can actually see this by going to the corner uh, and having a look at your, uh, your uh, friendly newspaper stand. You know how those stands can get pretty crummy and just kind of dirty and scuzzy. But here are these artists that have been hired to do this, and you're one of them, huh? Yes. Wow, what is this? I mean, Jeff Von Canal, who's, whose paper this is, is really a, a, an important uh, figure in uh, our town. And um, he doesn't probably know it because he's just so self-effacing, but he's a really uh, creative person. To come up with this and the uh, fact that he's supporting the development of new music, uh, and other uh, other things throughout the town is important. So, what happened? Did you were you walking down the street uh, one day and someone tapped you on the, uh, the shoulder and said, "Would you paint these stands?" Well, actually, um, that's like one of the things that I noticed um, upon moving to Sacramento mm -hmm. and living in Midtown. I noticed that there was these beautiful art news racks all around. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, how? How do you go about that? And then, you know, I picked up the newspaper and saw an ad for it and but, just said email and I was like, okay, I kind of like put it aside and my husband kept on egging me on. You got to do it. You got to do it. And I bit the bullet and, and you did it. And this is a result. Yeah. It's wonderful to, to drive around and see real art on the side of public art, you know? Yeah. So um, you have a nickname or an artist name. Satana? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this any relation to that wonderful person that we know that lives down there where it's warm? Um, actually, it kind of started that way. Um, that's a name that I was given back when I was like in my freshman year in college. Uh -huh. And it was due to the fact that I would always dress in black. Obviously, nothing has changed. Uh -huh. <laughs> but <laughs> um, the music that I would listen to mm -hmm. back then, it was like all heavy metal and thrash. Dark, 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 and, dark, dark. Yeah, and then everything that I would draw was pretty much dark oriented. There were some of these things. Uh, I, I, know, so I, said, I, got this, I don't know if you could see this. We're going to look at some slides of your work. This is kind of a zombie-like beautiful woman, you know, the beauty and the zombiness of it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, how did you get, I mean, what, how, how did you get into this kind of work, and what drew you into the, the zombiness? I asked you before the show whether or not this was um, um, you, how you would categorize this work, and you categorized it as poster art. Well, it's actually more like pinup art. Pin -up, and, yeah. um it's also influenced by Dia de los Muertos. Mm -hmm. um, it's part of my Latin culture. Mm -hmm. And coming to California, especially, you know, in Sacramento, I've seen that it's pretty much all around. Yes. And it's very inspiring to do. I've always liked that type of art mm -hmm. since I was a kid. But yeah. seeing it here kind of like manifests itself. I tell you, you know, there's a there's a, 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 a there's a political because we're in the capital town. There was a political movement in in the late '60s and early '70s called uh, um, Artistas. Um, what was it? Called? They were first called. They had a, a, a name before before it was uh, uh, the Flying Chicano Air Force. What's it called? Royal Chicano. Air Force. Royal Chicano Air Force. Thanks. Royal Chicano, which are a, a number of artists who are are living there boomers and so they're up there you know uh, but they are still painting and they were also influenced a great deal by previous artists who who used uh, so it's part of the iconography of Chicano art um, mm -hmm. uh, to deal with uh, you know skulls and sewn lips and uh, flowers Right. I, I think that a lot of uh, Hispanic, skulls. Hispanic culture deal yeah. with that, but yeah. it's just something about the Mexican culture that yeah. just brings it to a whole new level. Oh, yes, that absolutely. was really like inspiring to me. Yeah. So it's like something I wanted to kind of try good, my good, hand good. And the choice of colors are very bright and vibrant and, uh, you know, yeah. kind of interesting stuff. Which is kind of weird for me because I'm used to doing things dark. Uh -huh. And when I start doing these types of art, it's like I have to show off color. Yeah. It's like it's all about 
color and brightness and happiness as opposed to making it look gloomy. It's not about gloominess. It's mm -hmm. about, you know... Depressive. And movement. I mean, uh, if you look at your tattoos and your hair colors, colors yes, uh, and your flower, um, they're all about texture and movement yeah. and, and design. And so are these as well. Yeah. Uh, so I'm wondering if we could look at some of your slides. We have some slides of your work. And we'll use the medium of television to do that. Boom, there, wow. Yeah, so this one I did at the uh, Chalk It Up yes, I can uh, see that. festival last year. The grass is not part of the art. No. And um, it was actually really exciting for me to do this because it introduced me to a new medium that I never worked with, which is um, using chalk art and working on the sidewalk on concrete. Yeah, absolutely. So it was pretty exciting how it came out. Yeah, it is, considering, you know, sidewalk is uh, porous and, and uh, takes the chalk, and you've got to really move that chalk. Whoa! So what would this? This is more like a That's skull. That's more like an alien meets Day of the Dead. I noticed that that really hasn't been done. Yeah. So it's something that I was like, let me try my hand on it, and I, and I just love aliens and Day of the Dead, so it's a nice fusion of it. <laughs> sure. Oh, well, there's more of them. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much the artwork that's on the news rack that I've done. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah, there more it is. of it, yeah. Uh, again, pin up. my alien pinup girl. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, with pencil, more pencil work. Chalk? Uh, more, no, just like regular pencil. Oh, I see. Um, okay, so this one is a nice contrast between like the hard and the soft. The, mm. the one on the left, the grab hold of life, uh, that's more of a constant reminder for me to always kind of go and get what I want and not not sit around and do nothing, just Got keep that. on. And then the other one is a leopard that I did as a back patch for a friend's daughter. And this one is a sparrow heart. It's kind of like a t-shirt design. Sure, it's terrific, concept. isn't it? Yeah. It's really terrific. Thank you. Um, okay, the one on the left, that's like a Psycho Billy Day of the Dead uh, that I did on a friend's jacket. Uh, the one on the right is a sketch of actually me and my husband. Um, uh, the one on the left is a tattoo that I actually have on myself that I drew out. Wow. Um, it's basically um, the alien me filtering out everybody else that doesn't understand uh, things that are new to them. Mm -hmm. uh, these are a witch and a play on Star Wars stormtroopers that I did for friends. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, yeah, the one on the the right is like a Day of the Dead take on it, and the other one is called like a it's bewitching and mm -hmm. and the medium. This is all uh, this is uh, the um, it's a combination of like acrylic and this one's actually digital. It's all done on the computer. Mm -hmm. It's actually um, my first real try at it with you know a self portrait of me and. I, I actually like how it came out. I think it's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Again, this is more um, digital art. Um, I kind of use me as a basis for a lot of these uh, drawings because you, you'll see me kind of <laughs> come up. And then the one on right, my right, he's going to hate me for this, but that's my husband. Uh -huh. um, that's another digital drawing uh, that I did of my brother. Mm -hmm. Handsome guy. Yeah, <laughs> he is. <laughs> Uh, that's another digital art. It's a ringmaster. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I pretty much enjoy doing a lot of digital computer art and acrylic. This one's actually um, for the Johnny Cash uh, project. Um, basically, it's like an ongoing collaboration for a video for one of his songs, Ain't No Grave. Mm -hmm. So basically, you pick out a frame. And I think mine is, this one is uh, frame number 716. Mm -hmm. um, and people just collaborate. All types of artists from all over the world will do their own rendition of a particular frame for that video. So it's a constant, growing, evolving video. Wow. Uh, this one is one of, mo one of my most recent ones. Um, I like to call her Senorita. Um, again, it's kind of based off me, but it's also based off a lot of my friends who have this style. Um, uh, uh, just a question about the past when we looked at Denise. Mm -hmm. uh, you said it comes from a movie. You, there's, there's something that comes off 
off of Johnny Cash movie? No, it's like a video. It's an oh. ongoing music video for oh. the song Ain't No Grave. I and, see. Yeah, and they have um, a bunch of artists just collaborating. And, and they put more into it. Exactly, and, yeah. That's <laughs> fabulous. There it is. That's really beautiful. It's really you. kind of wonderful. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it. And again, you see the Day of the Dead uh, theme here. It's like I'm really like, all about all that. that's right. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, okay. Let's so let's move ahead. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one is another recent one um, that I did. I don't have a title for it. It's just more of my favorite subject matter. I like Day of the Dead. I like I like doing also like women, females. I mm -hmm. really like um, drawing them. And this is another one. Um, just more digital art. Mm -hmm. Um, hopefully for a series for, you know, some future project. This one here is actually, uh, it's called La Dama, La Dama de las Trece Rosa, which means um, the Lady of, 13, of the Thirteen Roses. Mm -hmm. And I did that for Lucky Thirteen, which is an apparel company that's internationally known, and they did a, um, a gallery showing in December, and it was called The Art of Thirteen. So basically any art that was submitted had to have the number 13 or... 13 anything, 13 roses or whatever, and I submitted that, you know, so, yeah. so it was really exciting to do. Uh, this one is untitled, but I did that one um, with pen, ink, and pencil, and then kind of like, you know, digitized it on the computer and added some more Do you sometimes the, the title hits you after you do it or before you do it? Um, usually after, I don't really think about it. I see. Whoa! Yeah, this is more of a Day of the Dead series that I've been working. Kind of on. a luminescent quality, yeah. or you know, it's like a neon quality yeah. about that. That's why I like doing it on the computer because I'm able to achieve uh, some of those effects that I probably won't be able to achieve on acrylic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is more of that. More um, of that. Yeah, more of the uh, Day of the Dead series. Mm -hmm. That's another one, and a lot of these that. I've done, they're kind of like based off of friends of mine, like their particular style or mm -hmm. hair color, and, and I'll use that as an inspiration. Uh -huh. And how do you, how, uh, this is quite an a, a American question, how do you sell these? I mean, do these go on to t-shirts or do they go up in, on, a, on a card? And uh, they could, um, th they would probably go on stickers or, mm -hmm. you know, um, t-shirts. This one is my pinup girl with flowers I just like the whole pinup look and you know it, it seems very retro for me so I like it this <laughs> is well you know it's a yeah. whole movement yeah pinup and uh, and then this ask. is my uh, personal logo <laughs> um, art by Satana Wow yeah <laughs> quite wonderful thank you good, good 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 and also you do public art as well like yeah that's good good yeah. good 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 I try yeah, and I, it, it is fascinating. Um, also, I got here, you work at, and I, I can actually say, can I say, say where she works? Yeah. Yeah, Evangeline's. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Evangeline's is like this huge, wonderful trick costume shop with all kinds, anything, how do you call it, public? It's like a gag novelty yeah. Halloween shop. It's in old Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I designed the current magnet that uh, actually came in yesterday and is now available. So you can run down to Evangeline's and have a wonderful time, take some yeah, folks down there. Yeah, they're they're free, and, you know, so you can grab. Ooh, them. they're free. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for coming to show me all of your art and and uh, how the Sacramento News and Review benefits and the city of Sacramento benefits from having uh, these this pretty art on their uh, on their uh, newspaper boxes. And I want to thank you for having me. Okay. I enjoyed it. Okay. Yes, we're going to take a short break from the pause for the cause right now. And we'll be back with Teatro Espejo. And they're coming up with a play. You're going to want to go see it.